thing because because in my opinion <laughs> it's just a rebranded <laughs> it's just a rebranding of can't get laid so because i can't retain semen i can't because i mean i quit jerking off eight years ago i don't consume adult entertainment no offense <laughs> but uh, but I can't do semen retention. There's too many beautiful women who want my time and want my attention. Is it a real thing? Does it, do, do, in your industry, do people do this shit? Tell me. Look, look, like, not jerking off is a thing. Yes. Right? If you've got a beautiful woman around you, you should be ejaculating onto her face. Or she should be retaining your semen. <laughs> okay. Right? Good point. If you're retaining, like, it's... Think, no, <laughs> think about it this way. Think about it this way. Like, did do you think Genghis Khan practiced semen retention? He was the biggest badass of all time. He was running around pumping loads into yeah. every girl. Test level one billion. Right. So, like, if, a... if he can conquer half the, you think Alexander the Great was semen retaining? Yeah. No, well, I don't think he was. Well, but he, he wasn't. Was, he wasn't jerking off all the time. Yeah. His his, he was boy, having sex his boyfriends were though. <laughs> you know. You know what my argue to that is? I've never met a guy who looked like he could get a woman talk about that bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, ever. That's have you ever point. have you ever seen a guy talking about semen retention? You were like, man, I bet that dude could get a lot of women though. No, 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 fucking no, never, no. Oh, semen retention, so I can look people in the eye, dude. I'll jack it right now, shake you in the hand. <laughs> like, like, no problem. Won't bro. even wash them off. Yep, yeehaw. <laughs> like, you know, it's 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 really like it kind of pisses me off a little bit because it's stupid. Like, yeah, of course, you shouldn't be sitting in front of the computer where they call it fapping, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's because it's a waste of fucking time, bro. Yeah, so like, the, the the difference, like, the fapping thing, I think, is a good thing to cut out. Yes. Because if you're, if you're using, like, porn to, like, go to sleep, yeah. okay, you get, you're exposing yourself to a ton of blue light, you're probably staying up later than you should, right? It's just, it's a lazy way of getting off. But if there's a beautiful woman there, it's a, your body responds totally different to this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There's a reason they call it the poor man's sleeping pill. I've, I've never heard. heard I've never heard. Yeah, of it. They call it the poor man sleeping pill. Yeah. You like rub one out before you go to sleep. Yeah, that's why it's poor. No, oh, I like so, that. I've never heard yeah, that. Before, I, like that. Yeah, I, like I don't like that. But yeah, you you nailed it. I think that a lot of people make up a lot of excuses for the fact that they just lack motivation and fire blood. Like I I, I fucked I fucked girls at ten a.m. and had a world title fight the same day. I fucked girls before fights. I fucked girls the entire fight, training camp. I never went completely without sex. I understand there was some argument for that. I never tried it personally. And people are like, oh, but how did you find motivation? Because I wanted to win. If your mind is so fragile that ejaculating is going to make you not have the will to conquer or to be an important specimen, if you're just going to jerk off and then lay in bed all day, well, then you're a jackass. Your problems are beyond semen retention. It, yeah. they, they, they truly are, right? Yeah. You either want it or you don't. I can, I'll fuck a bitch and jizz and I'll still get up and go to the gym instantly and, and hit the gym. Like, you either want it or you don't want it. And a lot of people will make up a lot of excuses and a lot of reasons for why they don't feel like they want it. And semen retention just feels like that to me. Oh, if I, you know, maybe this will help me stop being a loser. No, sir. You're a loser because your mentality is loserish. Sadhguru, is there a secret power behind our semen? Can wasting our semen damage us mentally and spiritually? What Brahmacharya means is, Literally, it means Brahman and Charya. Brahman means the ultimate, Charya means you're on the path of the ultimate. When we say Brahmacharya, this is particularly relevant in terms of sadhana. There are other ways for the feminine, but particularly relevant to the masculine or the male body because the seed of life that is in a man if he is willing to transform this, when I say the seed of life, a single cell which is able to create another human being. The capacity of the man to be able to transform this into a life force is like an atomic force. If you can take an atom and release it, a single atom can create so much energy, just like this. But the same capability is not in a woman's body because it's a compulsive cycle. If she does not make use of it to produce a child, she will lose it anyway. She cannot hold it in her body, she cannot make use of it in any sense because it dies periodically. Semen is the basis of your physical existence, whether you're a man or a woman. You have come into existence because that, that is fifty percent of the ingredient. Well, we have skin, we have epithelial cells, we have hair. 
we have many other aspects of body, you know, heart, liver, kidney, so many things. All these cells are of a certain potency in their own way, but semen is of an extraordinary level of potency, it can create a whole new life. Well, today you can take an epithelial cell and do lot of things in a laboratory and maybe we can clone you, all right? So the potential is here also, but it is not in the same dynamics as it is in the a cell which is… which you're referring to as semen. So in the yogic culture, this is called as virya. Virya also refers to what you call as vajra, which means stability or diamond, which is the hardest thing. So in the human body, virya is considered to be like vajra. That means it is one of the most potent things if you know how to use it. So you will see at various times, people say we cannot fight with him because he is a brahmachari. This does not mean that he is just willing to die, just that, no. It is just that they cannot kill him because every seed in his body, he has transformed it into a fresh life. And the nature of his life is so big that it is no more as mortal life is generally. So it is from this context, it is being said, Bhishma had the power to choose his time of death because he did not just take a vow and deny himself something, he made use of this opportunity to transform the seed within himself into a life force through which he almost became mortal by choice. He is not immortal, but he can choose his mortality. Anything in this body, can it be transformed into a different level of function? Absolutely. Every dimension of your body and your mind, you can transform into, into something tremendous or you can make it mediocre or you can make it a serious problem. Every aspect of your life, that goes for this aspect of life also. This same energy, see, uh, people are making it literal translations but if you want to produce a certain, let's say, epithelial cells, how much energy the body spends on it? And if you want to produce a cell which you call a semen, how much energy body spends is very different. This can be scientifically established. So, when you're investing so much energy in that, obviously it has a potency if you know how to explore. But are you competent to explore? Are you capable of exploring? Do you have the necessary sadhana and guidance to do that? That's a big question mark. See, the energy that you have right now is not all about the food that you eat. Sunlight, air and water you drink is actually contributing for more than sixty percent of the energy that you have. We are always thinking of energy as nourishment, food nourishment. People are constantly calculating how much iron, how much magnesium, how much this, how much that. I'm not saying that's not needed. Yeah. Definitely that's the chemical ingredient of the body, it needs yeah. to be taken care of. I'm not trying to belittle the nourishment, nourishment is definitely needed. But that is not going to determine the energy levels that you have. And your ability to transform what is food into what is a human being and what is energy and consciousness is what makes you who you are, your ability, the efficiency. Now, uh, every machine that you create, you are no more just trying to create big machines, you're always thinking about being energy conscious, isn't it? So it's a question of energy efficiency. So, a brahmachari is into various types of sadhana, certain internal maintenance of the system, the way it is managed is nothing is wasted. It is very eco-friendly, <laughs> very, you know, energy-conserving methods through which you generate a huge amount of reserve energies within you. You don't sleep, you don't eat, it doesn't matter. If I don't sleep for three nights, you will still not see any difference in me, I'll be carrying on. This is not some superhuman. See, first of all, we need to understand this. This is not about being superhuman. This is about realizing that being human is super <laughs>